My grandfather once said that people were like chess pieces. My grandfather loved chess. And he especially loved to win. He started his last and longest game. The night they took him away. Yes, Papa. Don't speak at the funeral. How do you know about that? What Emma Bass has asked me to do for her brother. Of course, it, it's not allowed. She just doesn't want him buried like an animal. She begged me. Your mother told you I'll get reported if I speak. And if I don't? Do you really want a coward for a grandfather? Like chess pieces, people can be captured. In Stalin's Russia, you never knew who you could trust and how or why they would betray you. Get the link. Lutheran. Wake up. But before the night was over, another, dead one. another man would be dead. There. That's your spot now, old man. What are you looking for, a bed? Not in Bruno's hotel. You're not a prisoner? A prisoner? Look around, old man. Everybody on my side of the door is either guilty of holding back the utopian paradise or... What, Ivan? We're waiting for our chance to get our hands around the necks of our accusers. Before we go to second. What do you think, Brother David? Or don't you pacifists have violent thoughts? Don't mind, Bruno. 
inside. The inside man. The inside man? That's just what I call him. Food gets delivered, he controls the distribution. I'm David. David Tan. This is my brother Rudy. Sale. Uh, Jacob Sale. Sale? The chess player? So you might just get out. What is in your boot? My Bible. Bible. I was a preacher on the outside. We would hold secret meetings in homes in the woods at night. I think we were betrayed. I was arrested for praying at a funeral. Praying? You should have preached a sermon. <coughs> Not as long as I'm around. Attention! We have been informed that one of you has religious writings. I'm going to count to five. And if no one steps forward, you'll all be punished. One, two, three, four. I, I have something. Five. Seal beneath the spot where I sleep. Be faithful unto death, and you'll be given the crown of life. This is like the famine. No. My cousins in entire village starved to death. And not because they did not have a good harvest. Yasha, we don't want to hear it. People robbed graves for jewelry to buy food. And when the children of one family told their teacher that their parents had secretly baptized them, the teacher rewarded them with bread. But later that night, they came and stole their parents away so that the children starved. Yasha, talk about something else. 
Like what I have to do to get out of here. I think you will get out of here when you learn to be nicer to me. Oh yeah? When will everybody else get out? When we defeat Nikolai. Shh. The, the littlest girl was found dead, but not before she had gnawed off all her frozen fingers. Yasha! Tell a different story. Hey everybody, listen up. Yasha's telling his story again. Okay, so, well, one day I heard they were recruiting workers for the mines. And my name was on the top of the list. Oh, at the top of the list? I, I was the hardest worker in my village. At least that's what the commissar told me every time he had a new job for me. Still, Mama did not like the idea of me working in the mines. Because of your claustrophobia? No, because I am afraid of closed in spaces. <laughs> hey, you were telling us about your escape. Well, Mama tells me this is not a good job for me, and I need to visit my relatives right away. So I did. Of course, she meant your relatives in Kiev. I love this story. <laughs> but I just ran to my brother's house down the street. Yasha. It was Yasha's family that asked my grandfather to speak at the Why funeral. Not? The boy is too sick to go to school today. Yasha, I said you were sick. Probably the only kind thing Yasha's father ever did for the boy was to keep him home from school the day he fired my grandfather. Yasha's mother would do anything for her son. But then I remembered the teacher's words to always tell the truth. Always tell the truth, Yasha. And that is when they brought me here. And when did it dawn on you that you were in prison? When I got my first taste of bond. <laughs> and, and, and what was it you said? I said, I said, this tastes as bad as prison food. <laughs> prison Yasha, tell us again what you said when you ate the food. Yeah. I said, this... There were two ways out of Comrade Nikolai's prison. The first was to defeat him in chess because he had promised to free anyone who beat him. But, no one ever beat him. Do you think you can teach me? So there was really only one way out. Ivan, he plays chess there. He's playing chess over there. Ivan? Get down! How many pieces did Carl lose this time? Yasha. Hey. Yasha. I thought I saw. That's right, Carl. The teacher is here too now. You you remember, teacher, me and Carl, how we sat in the back row. If you lay a hand on him, I will... You'll what? Hmm. Yasha. Fetch wood. So, in just four moves, a red dragon has been found. Hmm. Only a comrade's done. Carl? We have a better teacher who doesn't waste time playing checkers. Sorry, old man. You've got less than five minutes.
What are you thinking? That Yasha talking. Even when he's sleeping. Yeah. Yasha is Yasha. Calm is calm. Silent as ever. That's not much to say. Uh, we all need to talk sometimes. You know what I need more than talk right now? Something for my headache. Like a bullet. I do have one question. Do you still believe in God? Carl, what would a chess piece be without the one who carved it? I hate them. He turned me in for nothing more than vodka. And I hate God for allowing it. God. Now, teacher, we're not in school now. No more lectures about things you yourself shouldn't believe in. He hasn't called for you yet, has he? Let me tell you what happens to you in that office. What they do to break you. He sits you down and asks you to tell him that the white paper is red. And when you disagree, they dig under your fingernail. Do you're willing to say it's whatever color they want. And so, you confess. And after that, you play chess. Like you've never played it before. Gross, Papa. If you could do anything at all right now, what would it be? to play one last great game of chess. After his conversation with Carl, my grandfather started looking for an opportunity to play chess with Comrade Nikolai. And he found one the very next morning. What is wrong with Carl? You're too early for breakfast. I don't want breakfast. I want my spoon. This? Oh, this belongs to Bruno. Look, with the water they call soup around here. Why do you even need a spoon? Why don't I just hold on to it for all the peas, potatoes and carrots they might not strain out of it tomorrow? This isn't yours. Maybe somebody stole yours. Just give it to me, old man, before somebody really gets hurt. Bruno, can I ask you a question about what the spoon looks like? It looks like a spoon. And how long have you had it? <laughs> he was born with it in his mouth. Shut up, Volvic. Bruno, how many ridges are there on the handle of the spoon? How many what? Ridges. What are you talking about, ridges? You do know what a ridge is, don't you? How am I supposed to know that with my eyes? You can tell by the feel of it. What does it matter how many ridges it's got? Carl. Would you know the number? It has two, two ridges. Only two. No. Three. No. One. It has two. Yeah. 
Isn't life difficult enough as it is, without us making it worse, my dear? Are you accusing me, old man? No. <laughs> it's just that what we have here seems like a simple case of mistaken identity. It's a simple mistake that anyone could make. Especially someone whose eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Maybe you shouldn't have done that, teacher. You are seven years old. Your father bit you with a stick. The first time you bit him at chess. Now, how do I know that? You have the papers? Papers? For me to sign, admitting my guilt. What about your integrity? Your good family name? I'm ready to sign. We know we are going to use this to send you to Siberia. If I live that long. Then I'll have my secretary prepare your confession. Since you made my interrogation so easy today, I have something for you. Teacher, did he make you play chess? Why does he play chess with us and not with you? chessboard with one missing piece. Before I was born, my grandfather played a chess champion and beat him. In his joy, he handed the Red Queen to the champion's son. But what he had given as a gift, the boy, Nikolai, Nikolai, come! had taken as an insult. Nikolai! And now, the time for vengeance had come. sleep right over there and now he is not there anymore so where is he I've got to get out of here I've... 
Dig over there. Why? It's where David used to sleep. believed that comrade Nikolai would free anyone who beat him at chess and so my grandfather kept teaching them how to play but so far there was still only one way out of prison as they took one prisoner after another they're trying to scare us have you noticed something about the people that were taken they were all learning how to play chess with you. You're telling us that the comrade's been stalking the room with people who asked the teacher to play chess with them? And the first initials just happened to spell out? Ivan, Norbert, Fritz, Ernest. Hey, Yosef. You're just going to stand there until they take you? Help me with my tunnel. Mm. I will help. When you lose enough weight not to get stuck in it. Mm. Look, you think you are the only one who's tried to dig their way out of here? Wait, wait, what do you mean? What? No, oh, Victor, don't look like you're starving. One word for you, comrade. Thyroid! Yes, sir. It's a fairly common myth to protect your king. That is what I like about Yosef. They will never steal him. He is not afraid of anybody, not even Bruno. I wish I was as big and dangerous as Yosef. Talking about me, Lutheran? We were just wondering how a big man like you could get himself thrown into a place like this. Hey, how about my tunnel? Yosef, all you have to do is convince me that you are not a killer like they say. A killer. Okay. For Yasha, I will tell it. So, uh, it wasn't long ago that I was appointed the chairman of our beloved collective. Because you are so beloved. You think my sole qualification was my size? Is that it? Well? So, were you qualified? You know, Rudy. You're not much better than that dead brother of yours. Being a good Mennonite was what got David killed. Because of his little Bible. Because we Catholics, we don't read the Bible like you. That means you're better than we are. Is that it? Yosef, I would like to ask you a question. Go ahead, ask. Yosef, were you qualified? Qualified to give this little man a night a good thrashing, yes. But to be in charge. To be in charge, that was bigger joke than Yasha. Which I don't feel like talking about right now. Last time I had bread like this, it was Christmas. Stille Nacht, heilige Nacht, alle schläft. Don't you know the rules?
bubbles. There's no singing. What can they do to me? Throw me in prison? Sector 13. Everybody out. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Teacher, your coat. Your coat, please, just for a little while. It's the only one big enough. Let me see what your singing did. There are the religious writings. You, take those off. I don't have anything. He, he doesn't. Comrades. He doesn't have anything, please. Happy now, Lutheran. Don't you know where they are taking him? Why don't you stick up for him? Aren't you both Protestants? Sing a new song unto the Lord. So who's going to wear these? Teacher? Yasha and I have been talking and he wants me to ask you a question. He can't ask me himself? Well, he could. But he wants me to. 
Yasha wants to know if you would teach us some of the songs from back home. The songs you're always humming. In part harmony, for protection, so they will not be able to steal us. Or make us a choir. How about tomorrow? How about today? Maybe your Jesus won't be able to protect you, is that it, old man? Bruno, talking religion. Somebody's crossing a line. Uh, you think I don't know about religion? I've been to church. Once. At Christmas. So what? I go to hell, is that it? Why would an atheist need to worry about that? Listen, Vovic. I've got as much religion as the next man. Wait, wait a minute, old man. You're not getting off that easy. So? What are the believers going to do about their choir? Depends on the teacher. The teacher? He's afraid. I can smell it. Are you teacher? Are you afraid? To tell you the truth, I am. Bruno, we all should be. More than a little. So the comrades are right. About what? About religion, being an opiate for the weak and useless. Why do you have to be so angry? Angry? Because everybody can see what is coming. And anyone with half a mind is going to leave before the whole country falls apart. They've taken my church, they've taken my school, they've taken my choir. It's useless. I'm useless. And I am going to die that way, a useless old man. So, Teo. Ludwig, Gustav, I remember your voices from back home. And Eric, Adam, Otto. But I'm going to need more than just you. So Josef, and Vovic, and uh, you too, Bruno, if you want. See, I told you he was not afraid. Uh, can we be courageous uh, some other way? So how do we begin? First, to judge the voices. We start. Oh, it was my idea. I will go first. I have a very loud voice, so I will sing tenor. Yes, um, I remember your singing. What song would you like to hear? How about Silent Night? Without words or sound. You don't think I know the words? <coughs> oh, night divine, oh holy, silent night, oh you, holy night. Everybody come together. Come on, you want to get warm, don't you? Then let's go. Sit here in the middle. Middle? Oh. Well... Oh, no, please, look. Can we do this without fighting? No, we really are a choir. Yasha, if you could only hear yourself when you sing. What about you, Bruno? What if you could hear yourself? Yasha, I'm a communist. What would I sing? The International. You think that's the only song I know, smart guy? It has to be a spiritual song. You think I don't know church music? Uh, so prove it and sing something. Right here in front of everybody? So who's afraid now, Bruno? Listen to me. I'm not afraid of anything. So, so why don't you sing then? All right, I'll do it. But no laughing. You laughed at Yasha. Because his singing is ridiculous. Well, just sing and get it over with already. There's a song my mother used to sing. I'm just singing the first few words. Well, but that's all I need to hear what sort of voice you have. How did I get picked for this? I volunteer you because you are so brave. Bruno, just sing the first line. <clears throat> Gott ist die Liebe, lässt mich erlösen. That's almost as good as me. 
So, Bruno, you're not the 100% Conrad we all thought. Uh, Bruno, try again, only um, higher. <coughs> God is deliberate, there's me Ellison. God is I think I found my soloist. <laughs> Alright, so who's next? What about you, Yosef? Or don't Catholics sing hymns? What would an atheist like you care of what we Christians do? I want to hear Bruno again. <laughs> God. God. to stop us from digging out of here. Maybe we are on top of a bunker. Bunker? I told you we can't dig deep enough because of the concrete. So we just dig shallow. And have a tunnel cave in on us. Asher Schleimer. Yes? It's your birthday. I didn't know it was my birthday. Where are we going? Solitary. What do you want Yasha for? Religious writings. Yasha is an idiot. He can barely read. Step out of the way, big man. It's always the religious writings with you people, isn't it? Can't you make up a better excuse? <laughs> Thank 
present from the kitchen. Just enough for you this time. Where is teacher? What did you do that for? How are they taking people away in the middle of the night without us hearing it? Infer. What do they mean? I think Comrade Nikolai takes them away with black magic. Do you think God is letting bad things happen to us because we deserve it? 
I don't know, Elsa. What do you think they're doing with the teacher? I don't know that either. Do you think they are going to set him free? Of course. They'll be setting us all free. In fact, from now on, I think they've suddenly become very nice guards, and they'll be serving us tea and cake. What are you going to do when you get out, Bruno? Maybe I'll take a train to the sea to eat caviar. You, Vovik? I'm going straight to my wife's restaurant to eat her borscht with white bread. I'm going to go to a fancy restaurant and eat handfuls of sunflower seeds and... Don't worry, Bruno. I will invite the brothers. The brothers? The choir. Our church. Shut up! This is not a church! And you are not my brothers! Especially you, Yasha! I'm not from your ridiculous family or your stinking little village. Listen to me. They took Jacob to kill him! Just like they killed David, Rudy, Yosef, and all the rest. Just like they're going to kill us! All of us! But if he does come back alive, I'm going to break his scrawny neck for poisoning us with his ideas and his singing and his brotherhood and all of it. Marta, what can he do with the bell? Please, I need to get this to my grandfather. Americans call it jazz. I was a trained soloist in the Russian opera, and an illness ruined my singing voice. Strive for quality. Purity. Why did that big giraffe of treason sabotage my solution? You know, running this hell is not much better than being a prisoner in it. Untimely death, its owner no longer has need for that.
And comrade, didn't like your ashes singing. What's that? My granddaughter sent it to me. She's dead. <laughs> he tried the same thing with Victor. And Victor thought his wife was dead until that adopted man on I threw he set them straight. Victor, isn't that right? What? A dead girl sent you a bell? Another letter. What does this one say? It's the same thing as last year and each year before that. For what, 12 years now? Dante. Inferno? Who's ever heard of anybody burning? No wonder he didn't punish us for singing. He likes it. But not with Yasha spoiling it. We don't know that. Seems pretty clear to me. Yasha is part of the choir. Not anymore, he isn't. Look. This is not the hard decision to make. Yes. It isn't. Because we are not singing for the comrade, we are not singing anymore at all. You think we've got the choice? Listen to me. I do not sing for a madman. My choir sings for the pleasure of heaven, and for that, no willing man anywhere is unfit. I'm telling you, we sing without the Asha. I'm with Vovik. I'm with teacher. I say the choir votes on it. Teacher. Vovik. Vovik. Teacher. Vovik. Teacher. teacher. Vovik. Six. Six. I never wanted to sing in the first place. I don't think the comrade spy should get a vote. What did you call me, fat man? Why don't you come over to our side and do something about it, if you can? Remember the Gemini star things? They're like the Jacob from the Bible and his twin, Esau. Brothers who became enemies. Stop it! Everybody stop! 
Stop! Okay! Okay! So, who remembers the stories the teacher used to tell at the schoolhouse? I... I always liked the one about Jacob's Ladder, when Jacob was wanted man and on the run. And one night, as he slept in the field, with his head on a rock for a pillow, he had a dream. A good dream? A very good dream. Jacob had a vision that he was under a ladder, like a great staircase, with angels going up and down, from heaven to earth and up again. Good, Papa. Your name is Jacob, too. Maybe... Maybe the ladder was Jacob's way out. I'm going to ask God to help us to build that ladder. Bruno? Can you deliver a message? I'm ready to start my choir again. Oh, uh, but with changes. New music? Yeah. Something better than new music. A musician. Musician? Yes. A musician. Who? A teacher. I may be a great singer, but I'm no musician. Yeah, sure. Um, look at me. Tell me what I am. You are a... a teacher? Exactly. So I'm going to give you an instrument and... And... Te teach me to play. <gasps> so I get to sing and play. This is going well. Yes, I need to speak with you. Privately. If you're the only one who gets to sing and play an instrument, the others will be jealous. Why? Well, because all they get to do is sing. It will seem unfair. Trust me, Yasha. I've got it all figured out. Where is this instrument? Can teach me to play this? Okay. Don't you think my voice will overpower everybody in the middle? Remember, the rules state the musician is too busy in timekeeping to sing. Hmm? But uh, don't you think the tenor section will suffer if I do not sing? Oh, suffering has always been enduring here. What we need most in an instrumentalist is someone who isn't distracted by singing. Someone who knows just when to ring the bell to separate the verses. Remember, no jealousy. But I like singing. Yeah, so you don't need to worry about the tennis section. Just raise your arm, like this. I'm left-handed. Oh, I don't know if we can use a left-handed musician for these songs. Too socialistic. Uh, okay. I'm right-handed, I can do it. I can learn to play with my right hand. I know you can, if you just concentrate on playing. So men, 
The bell ringer is the pivot who faces me. Now, Yasha, when I point to you, ring the bell. Yasha, can I show you a trick used by the bell ringers in far off Canada? Canada? Open your mouth. Close your mouth. Can you breathe? Good. A mighty fortress is our God. A bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal ills prevail. Fall, these craft and power are great. Line up! Thank you for accepting my offer. Thank you for stepping into my trap. Sing for me. To restate my request, if you win, the men will sing. If I win, you keep your promise. Sit. Please forgive an old man the insensitivities of his youth. Today the rules are reversed. Instead of my challenger suffering the consequence for losing a piece, he suffers the consequence for every piece I lose. Five moves. Speed, Jess. 
Start the count. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Check. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Checkmate in two moves. What did he say? Checkmate in two moves. It is not myself I want to go free. I wish you to free someone else. I would ask you to free... I'm not a monster. Rachel, I am so ashamed. It was all my fault. I shouldn't have asked him. So, he's the one. You know what I would do if my accuser found his way in here? I would start by making his life a little more miserable than usual. Then I would arrange for a little accident. Maybe you would like me to arrange an accident? Rachel, someone from the prison, someone high up, wanted the teacher. Rudy? No. They let you go. They promised they would set Yasha free. If I... And so... I asked your father to speak so, so they would have the excuse they needed to arrest him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just saw your papa. Papa? 
Where? Has he come to take me home? Hey, stop! Stop! I said stop! That's right, Yasha. I remember whenever people were taken from our village, your papa always got a new bottle of vodka. Where did all that vodka come from? Yasha, everybody knows how he got his vodka. It was his reward for turning in practically every man in our village, including me, including you. Teacher. He is not really dead. Why? Why do I need to forgive them? He's Lions. Rotting in hell. It was Yasha's mother's love for her son that Nikolai had used to take my grandfather away. In my village, there was a man who drank too much. So he took the sick to his wife and his boy, and it made the boy's head stupid. Finally, the boy was sent away on a vacation, and he found a new family. And even though they did not have a nice place to live, and did not have enough to eat. His new family sang songs. And his friend taught him to play a bell. And he was happy.
little ceremony out there. You know why he did it? Because he's not all there. Shut up, Bruno. You are telling me to shut up? Well, I didn't exactly see you participate. And you, you're supposed to be our leader? I didn't see you till it was almost over. Tell them, tell them, Jacob Sale, tell them it's not so easy to forgive. You, your music. You're the one that's made them all crazy like this. With your bloody son of God dying for our sins on some rotten slab of wood. Come on, old man, tell them we'll soon be free of this prison because the devil himself is coming to loose us. And when he does, we'll crush these Soviets. Tell them. Ah, how do you like that? For singing in my choir. For helping to make my time here something I wouldn't trade for anything. The ladder, Bruno. <coughs> Jacob's ladder. The way to paradise. Forgive me. For what? Or not setting a better example. No. to say this 
After your chess match with the comrade, none of us could hear the name of the man you were setting free, but I... I was watching you, so I could see the name on your lips. And I just wanted to say... To say... You're the best teacher I've ever had. But I am a bad student. So who is going to forgive me? Papa! who entered the Soviet Gulag, died in confinement or exile. My grandfather was one of them. A survivor told us how Jacob had taught them chess, and how sometimes the only way to win is to lose.